Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have an exclusive to our company, a Glen Dronach from 1993. Yeah, very interesting whiskey. We already had an older batch from 95 which was really really nice mm -hmm. and we sold 2,000 of the bottles within days yeah. and <laughs> it was it was very easy to sell and this time we have a single barrel uh, from uh, only with the number of 558 uh, 85 bottles and it's a 25 year old so I'm guessing this will probably sell out very fast as well but mm -hmm. unfortunately we're not selling to the international market yeah uh, this one is a single cask in uh, contrast to the first one the 1995 which was a batch out of four or five casks and this one is a single cask it's quite high in the ABV it's 59.2 and I think if you um, if I'm correctly with the schedule on our YouTube channel then in the in the what do you call it uh, before moon uh, what do you call it um, not afternoon, the other one. Morning. Morning, yeah. In the morning, <laughs> we, we released a video from our tour through Scotland. Um, we didn't have the one where we took it out from the cask, but uh, we tasted it at the distillery. So um, you can now compare how the, the taste uh, varies from what we see at the distillery and from what we have in the tasting room because um, when you taste it at the cask, you do have the smell from the from the Dunwich warehouse or in this tasting room, there was mm. a, a wood uh, ceiling, a wood floor, and all the cupboards were made of wood. So you had a pretty strong wood flavor in the in the air. And so the leather And seats. the leather chairs yeah. uh, were a bit leather mm. smelly. So you definitely we really had different um, impressions on you. So you it would mm. probably affect your taste and your whole experience of the whiskey. So we had the chance to visit the warehouse and this is the mm -hmm. the big one uh, very close to the still house it is a dunnage warehouse it's only stapled three casks high there's a a big attic in the top where the hot air in summer may rise up to so that the casks lay quite comfortably there and so we got an abv of 59.2 after 25 years so this is a lot and uh the outturn of the cask had been 585 bottles, so this is as well a lot. Shows that not that much has evaporated over the years as the angels share. Yeah, this sample was taken from the cask at the distillery and then we sampled from this, we tasted from this sample. Mm -hmm. And afterwards uh, the bottles were uh, filled within the next six months, uh, I think, and then they reached us. So it takes quite a time. It's exactly uh, the same color. Yeah. So, and here mm -hmm. they uh, did an official tasting note for us, which mm -hmm. is quite interesting. It's the cask 662. Mm -hmm. And if I compared this to what we tasted is, it's similar stuff. We didn't hit exactly the notes, but it's uh, kind of also, they, they described it a bit sweeter than we did. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is cask 662 mm -hmm. and was uh, distilled on March 19th. So you can uh, see how many casks they fill in those uh, 50, 60, 80, 80 days, they filled 662 casks at mm. Glendronach. Yeah. So the nose is dark chocolate, toffee, coffee, milk chocolate, mousse and fudge. And the appearance is chestnut. Well, palate is dark chocolate powder, mocha, fudge, caramel, espresso and coconut. So uh, quite bitter what they're telling us here. Mm -hmm. So, and here we go. And again, we do have the glasses from the 25th anniversary of our company, Whiskey D. You've already provided us with some, some water. Oh, let's, let's nose it neat. So if you have a high ABV, 
then the liquid is very light and disturbing and if the ABV reduces to 43, 46 then you have the maximum viscosity in a water alcohol mixture. So looking at the lags is quite difficult here because the ABV is such high. You have some lags in, in them but not too many. <clears throat> so alcohol first. This is intense. And with 59% of uh, ABV you do have a lot of alcohol and in, in intensity in the nose. And behind that there is caramel fudge rising mm -hmm. and then there is a lot of fruit of course those dark oxidized fruit dried fruit and behind that is some spiciness arising those typical nuts from the oloroso sherry casks and probably a few almonds but not not really I do get a lot of uh, dried fruit as well, also candied fruit and a lot of roasted nuts, a lot of um, yeah, really nuttiness going on, a bit of oak going on as well. And it's a, it's a very dark, sweet mixture of fruit. It's, it's almost like a, a chocolate cookie with the raisins in it that maybe was a little it's a little not burnt, burnt but yeah, hazelnuts on top, but it was uh, maybe a bit too long in the oven because <laughs> it's, uh, it's deeply roasted. So last time I had that, I had too few water and it was intense, incredibly intense. This pipette is, has only very few water in it. <clears throat> so the, the legs are, uh, are getting stronger, the alcohol is down below 50 and it's lighter in the nose. Very good. More fruit. The background is developing. Spiciness. And there are several uh, single cask from Glendronach and the sister distillery Benriach out on the market. Mm -hmm. From time to time they are coming out those old uh, bottlings. The 70s are already already gone, the 80s are gone and now we are in mm -hmm. the 90s. Yeah, so my taste is now with the water. I do get, still do have that deep roasted uh, candied fruit but mixed together with some some freshness eucalyptus bit of mint or i don't know mm -hmm. so but something this something cooling ref refreshing and cooling inside this cooling, the yeah so have a sip mm -hmm. mm. i hit it better but still incredible strong mouth-watering sweetness and then a lot of oak a lot of bitterness mm -hmm. of dark chocolate of cacao of yeah and then well the the bitterness moves away to spiciness and the fruits are coming up this time I got a little bit more of water so that the the oakiness is not that intense as it was the first time so having it with a higher ABV is quite complicated for that bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do have now also a very strong intense flavor with a lot of fruits, dried fruits, candied fruits, but it's it's really heavy. It's an intense and very, very heavy whiskey. So all of you lighter whiskey and enthusiasts out there, you might consider it a bit of overaged but um, as one of the experienced ones who really enjoys the, the flavor, complexity, intensity, then this might be just the whiskey for you. So 25-year-old uh, Sherry Buck from Glendronach. 
definitely a very, very intense cherry bomb. Mm -hmm. The prices for these bottles aren't that cheap. No, mm -hmm. um, they're well uh, above 200, 250 mm -hmm. US dollars pounds. So this is expensive, and and if you look that there are or see that there are 585 bottles uh, out of a cask, you multiply this with this selling price, deduct the taxes, well, uh, then it's still an incredible expensive cask. Mm -hmm. So and if you look at those hundreds of casks in that warehouse, there are millions. They do have a lot of value in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Very good. Very interesting. <laughs> I would say usually uh, I recommend for a beginner, yeah, you can start with an older whiskey because the older whiskeys tend to be yeah, more soft, also more, more rounded. You don't have the alcohol burn as, as strong, but this one, <laughs> no. <laughs> this one is just too heavy. It's just too intense and heavy for a beginner. Therefore, so, typically batches are mixed with first fill and second fill mm -hmm. to get more well-rounded so yeah. that's what you get from a single cask cask strength you really get the first the fill first first fill yeah mm -hmm. so okay yeah thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time